Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We out here with the white perch. We got our new Hiroshim reel. Uh, it's smooth as it can be. I love it. But we got the three rig on. I hadn't been catching that many with the three rig. They've been biting the two rig a little bit better. We're going to see if we can get a white perch or two to bite. They're bumping at it, but they ain't taking it. There's some down there. Problem is, I ain't been, I've been able to catch them feeding right here lately. We tried it yesterday, didn't do that good. That was one. Hey, we might catch them today. We might catch them today. Hey, we got our new reel. It's smooth. We got braid line on it. Got 20 pound braid with a fluorocarbon leader. And we got two jumbo magnets right off the bat. Hey, two jumbos. You got to love that. Lake Monticello. We got two Charlie Brewers on there. And, uh, Oh, Lord. And that's a nice, nice jumbo magnum right there. See if we can catch a couple more of them. Glad y'all could be with me on another episode of Loving Life with the Old Fisherman. We're on a little hump out here, a point of a hump, about 30, 35 foot is where we're at. That's where we just caught that. Them, anyhow. Hey, we got an, uh oh, had another on. They biting. Hey, it's some out here. That's what we want. Normally I use a spinning rod, but when I use a three rig, I, I like the, the bait caster better. Hey, that's not a huge one, but we're gonna put him in the box. Lid wanting to slide up here this morning. We got three jigs on there with two swivels. Little line branching off each one at the bottom swivel. We got two lines off, one for the uh, going to two jigs, and a lead at the right uh, head of the jig at the bottom, about six inches up from the bottom jig. I got a little lead to keep them separated. But uh, hey, I think we're gonna catch a few today. We didn't catch them perch much yesterday. They didn't want to bite, but they might bite today. Looks like it anyhow. 37 foot. I see a few down there. There, there he goes. There he goes. They look like they might be biting a little bit today. Some days they bite, some days they don't. It's that simple. Oh, he got off. It's that simple. All right, there he is. There he is. We're gonna catch a mess of perch, then we're gonna go crappy fishing is what we're gonna do. And I like to get on them super dogs. These is like a, like a small version. I'm gonna throw him back. I don't want a bunch of little ones to clean. I like to get them jumbos. Them jumbos are biting somewhere, I guarantee you on that. You gotta find them. They ain't eat, they, yes, they ain't eating it up, but we're catching a few. There goes a couple. The best thing to do is let it swim around out there real slow and you pick up some more. There's another right there. Right there's another one. We got two anyhow. I think. You never know. Yep, yeah, we got two. They ain't too bad. They're not too bad. Summertime perch fishing, that's what this is. <clears throat> Get us some little fillets and have another fish fry. Like I said before, there's no limit on perch in South Carolina, so you can catch as many as you want to, as many as you want to clean. <clears throat> and the way gas is, you got, to, you got to bring back something. Nowadays, it ain't worth just coming over here and not, not bringing nothing home. It costs to go fishing now, but 
I can tell you that right now, it costs a lot to go fishing. What used to cost me $10 costs $30 now. This went up three times. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how we're going to survive. There goes a couple right there. Got the sun in the eyes. That's the only thing. When I turn that boat toward the sun, these ain't the super dog magnums that I'm looking for. They just kind of a, a medium. Next year, they'll be the super dogs. This year, they ain't. I mean, that was good eating, don't get me wrong. Them little ones like that fried whole. What I do is I, and y'all see my uh, fish cleaning videos, I cut the back fin out and the bottom fin out, and then I notch them down the side. Them things fry up good. We gonna probably have to move to find some bigger fish. These ain't the fish we looking for. Somewhere out here they biting. I guarantee you on that. Somewhere they biting, the big ones. There he is. There he is. Just ain't the right size. You know, in certain places in this lake, you catch bigger fish. I've always caught smaller ones right in here. I just wanted to stop and see if they was biting, but we're going to have to move. These ain't what we want. We ain't got time to be messing around with the little bitty fish. We want big fish. I'm telling you. He's a little. Somewhere there's big ones, I'm telling you. There's plenty of them out here, but he's a little. He's hitting it on the way down. See that? That just ain't the right size. Sometimes the bigger ones are on top, but I don't even, when I get up, I'm not getting a bite over the bigger ones. They go something might be bigger. Usually the bass will take it on up. When them perch is jerking that jig around, they'll come up, see what's going on, and they'll grab the other jig. That's when you get your bigger ones, most of the time. See, we got three at a time that time, and two of them are, good, uh, are pretty good size. You got to take your time pulling it up. What you got to do? I'm throwing that one back. This is a little bit bigger. It ain't much bigger, though. I'm using the bigger jig. Somebody's talking about putting a trailer hook on here. Yeah, you can do that, but really and truly, them bumps that I'm getting and I'm missing is, is probably small fish. So that's the way I weed them out by using the bigger jigs. People always come up with a better idea. They think they got a better idea, but they don't know the reasoning behind what I'm doing. It's to try to cull out these fish with the bigger jigs where I don't catch these babies. I miss a lot, but that's the little fish that I'm missing out. I, I believe them big ones, ain't they going to grab it. There goes a bigger one. See how I hold it up there? A bigger one take it. Once you get a bigger one on, he's shaking them other jigs around. He might catch another big one. That's the key. That is the key. Uh, I see that? We got that bit nice one on the bottom that time. Dang, on it. Ain't hard to get off, but that's a pretty fish, ain't it? <sighs> I've been having so much camera problem lately. You know some of my videos, I, I'm not using all my cameras. The reason for it is <laughs> that I'm having camera problems. They cut, keep cutting off. It's about to drive me nuts, I'll be honest with you. It's a, it's a hassle messing with three cameras. A hassle. We got plenty of fish down there, we just got to get the bigger ones to bite. They down there. He's already on it, look at that. That's a big fish, that's a, that's a big fish. That might be a bass, y'all. That's a bass or a catfish, I can tell you that. That's a good one. What? That's a good one. He coming up. He's a bass. He's a bass and grabbed it. I knew it was a bass. He's a bass. 
He's a bass. He's a bass. Look at here, look at here. Come here, boy. Come in here to the old fisherman. We keep a couple bass in the summer. Uh, Logan loves bass. I love bass. Not a lot of people don't want you to keep bass, but sometimes in the hot months like this, see, that ain't got but one eye. We're going to keep a couple bass. That's how you throw them back. It runs the rest of them off. Them bass do. I don't like throwing them back. Now, I can't keep them live now. So, basically, the ice is bound until we get five. Then they hit it on the fall. 31 foot of water. Hit it on the fall. Hey, boy, they bumping it. They bumping it. Hitting it on the way down, too. Hey, mm, missed him. There you go. Oh, there he goes. He's steady hitting it. Little ones. See if we get a bigger one. There you go. And that's shaking a little bit more. Might get another on there. I don't know. I believe all we got is two. No, we only got but one. He's a little. I'm gonna throw him back. Let's see if we can catch a crab here too. See if they biting before we waste any more time. Let's see if we can catch a couple on up. We're using the uh, Topaz Shad from Slab Abbey Lure, 2.25, uh, two and a quarter inches is what it is. A little bit longer. But uh, I believe there's a couple fish in here. We'll find out. Drop it down, see what happens. Sometimes they bite early, sometimes they don't. Yesterday, I, I didn't catch that many earlier. I already got one. So they out there this morning. We got something. I don't know what it is. It's a crappy. I believe it's a crappy. Oh, my. I believe it's a crappy. Oh, yeah. It's a crappy. Yep. Yeah. Topaz Shad is what he's hitting. I tell you, they love that thing. They absolutely love the Topaz Shad. As soon as I put it down, they won't pop it. Let's see how many we can catch before they quit popping it. Glad y'all could be with me. Uh, we caught a few perch. They were just small. I, I, I decided to heck with it. Perch are a lot harder to clean than crappy. They're a lot harder to scale than crappy. Somebody asked me how they eat. They eat great. I love perch. They're a little firmer meat than a crappy, but they're really good. See if we can get another. Got to ease back up that we got off the wind kind of blew us off. I don't want to get in no hurry and uh and spook them. So I'm easing back up. These crappers here in 30 foot of water. We had a good limit yesterday. Uh, hopefully we can do that again today. We fixed about 20 foot down. We got four pound test, floral carbon line on, and already had another bite. You put it where they at, wanna bump it. Hey, yeah, got him, got him. That acts like a brim. I don't know, it might be a crappy. No, that's a bluegill brim. Look how pretty that fish is. Hey, he's eatable. That's a good eating right there. That's a good eating right there. The brim will start to get on these brush, and the reason for it is that uh, mayfly lavas are around that brush is what's down there, and that's why the crappy is around it. They eat mayfly lobbers. When they go to hatch, they float up to the top and hatch out in a mayfly. And I think that's why they're hanging around these brush now is eating on mayfly lobbers. That's what I think. Get a nut. Had you catch a couple of them. There you. They want to taper off. 
That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Coming up. Oh, Lord. Coming up like a schooling crappy. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Two pair of sheds killing them. I'll tell you that right now. Slab happy. I got the call, Slab happy. And get me some topaz shads. I'm running out. Man, that's where it always is. You you catching something and, and next thing you know, you ain't got that jig no more. I ain't lying. They don't last forever. Get back down there. There's a few in here. They ain't whoppers. They they eatable. You got to make up your mind whether you want a crappy fish or a perch fish. And I'm going to tell you, that's a hard dilemma. I love catching perch. I'd rather catch crappies and clean crappies than I would perch. Perch, I can, it's unlimited amount I can catch. Crappies, is 20. So maybe I can get a little taste of both worlds here today. Them couple perch I caught were small. They wasn't the kind I'm looking for. I could have stayed there and caught a hundred. I don't want them. I don't want to have to clean all, all them dag on a little perch. They 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 tough to scale. You got to put some pressure on them to scale them. Where well, crap has got a soft scale. I see them now. Then. I love this clear view. I don't mind telling you. Somebody asked me what what it is. It's a five inch clear view with uh, Gorman Striker Five, which clear view is what it is. The seven you got the side imaging on. I don't have it. I wish I did, but I done the five because it is not as wide, and I, I could put it on the side of my windshield and swivel it. That's the reason I didn't buy the seven. The seven's got a bigger transducer. But I can I know fish and I know what I'm looking at. I, I don't need all that. The side imaging would help pick up brush that you don't ride right over. That's where that would be handy. Then you got to learn how to use it. Look at that. I know how to use what I got right here. Y'all can see that. I can put it on them. This is snagged. A molly. <laughs> Another molly. Warm mouth, I call it. Caught one yesterday. Look at that. Heck of a looking fish. Got a bass mouth. Hey, he hits that jig too. All right, let's get back now. We'll catch a few and then they'll quit. We'll go to another place, catch a few and they'll quit. Keep rotating. What you hey, got let's see if we can catch a fish right here. Let's see if we can catch a fish right here. I tell you, they don't seem to be doing right first thing this morning. Back up. There he is. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Look at that. Why white, the white perch? Hey, maybe the white perch is over here today. Ow. Them suckers can cut you. They like a striped bass. And they spiny too. They spiny. I didn't think I was on the brush, right? He's outside the brush. Nailed it. Maybe they over here. Get down there and see if we get a nothing. Hey, yeah. Might be crappies, too. We'll find out what this is if it's, if it's a white perch or a crappie. It's a big old crappie. That's what I'm talking about. Crappies down there. What? He stuck it, too, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. You see how deep that thing is? Deep. Duck it. Look at there. Look at there. Old fisherman. Look at there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I hope my cameras are rolling. You never know with these jokers. You got to cut off in a heartbeat. You won't even know it. Put it back there. About 20 foot. There you go. Another brim. I think. I don't know. That might be a crappy. I think it's a perch. It is. White perch is out here. What's well, out there feeding white perch. I have caught some big white perch over here now. That name that big, but I have caught some big ones over here. I might throw that Charlie Brewer out, I'm telling you. Tell you what, we won't stay out here long today. Melting hot. Hey, see what he is. That's a perch. I guarantee you that's a perch. He's pulling like a perch in here. Don't want perch in here. Nice ones, too. Look at that. There it go. We need to get our two rig out there and see if they'll hit it. Throw this back out one more time, though. There's a whole bunch of fish down there. I think they perch. Right there looks like crappies. Right there. I believe them's crappies. There you go. Them's crappies. Yep, them crappies. That's a good one. Oh, oh my. That's a good one. That's a, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna pick him, put him in the boat. About a pound. Look at that. Oh, calm down, boy. Calm down. Calm down. You see him about a pound? Got a little pound. <clears throat> I knew them was crappies I see him. So that's the school of them just moving around out there. Got a crappy. Got a crappy. Got a crappy. There's some out there, folks. Just they ain't gonna let you hammer them. You got to go over them, come back over them. Look at that. Nice crappy. Nice crappy. Nice crappy. See if we can get a nothing. Dang, something's biting me. Right there. Right there's where they ought to be. He is. Got him. Got him. Oh my, got him. <sighs> Topaz Shad kill them, folks. Topaz Shad will catch these crappies. I can tell you that much. They'll catch them. And when they hit it, they hit it, too. They ain't playing with it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Oh my, y'all see it. Oh, something down in my shirt. Well, uh, I don't know what kind of bug he is, but he's biting. He wouldn't think it'd be a bug out here, but it is somewhere eating me. We don't need that lead that close. I like to have it up a little bit, okay? Let's get back over there. Right on that brush. They, they, they're probably by the shade of that brush. All right, let's put it back out. One, two, three, a little bit. Let's see if we get another. They is. Got nothing. They, they down there, I tell you. They down there and they biting. Oh, oh my. my. They down there and they biting, y'all. That's a nice one. That's, That's a big old crappy. Look, Look at the size of that crappy. That another a pound and a quarter. Come here, boy. Come here. Look at that. Pound and a quarter. What? You, you see, see him? Pound and a quarter. Oh, my. Having fun there, ain't we? Slowing out smelling the roses on these crappies. 
three, a little bit. Right there. I see them right down to me. They down there. Whole school of them. Must be 25. Hey, there was a bite. They just don't want it. They don't quit biting is what it is. Let's move out here and see if we can catch a perch. Funny how they bite the devil out of some things, and then when you when you change over to catch on something else, they don't want to bite. But I won't. That is right. I won't. Right here. See if we can draw them on me. There's perch out here somewhere. There he is. I tell you. That's what it is. They out here. That's why I caught them on a couple on that other G. <sighs> Move out here and catch these doggone perch. Right quick. These, that ain't a whopper, but he's a perch. Caught him on the green. Drop back out. I bumped the boat a little bit and they stirred up under me, so they're here. They're here. Let's see if we can catch them. They're bumping at it. There you go. There he goes. That's a nice one, huh? That's a good one. Oh, yeah. The whole drove done come under me now. Look at that. Two jumbo magnums. You got to love that. Calm down. Jumbos. Jumbo magnums. Or maybe just jumbo. Maybe not the magnums. Let's drop back down and get another. One. They're all over the bottom out here. They're all over the bottom. We might sit here and catch a mother load. Catch them out here and then go back and catch a couple crappers. Come back out here and catch a couple perch. Hey, we might have it going on now. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Might be a bass. I don't know what that is. Coming up like a bass. I believe it is. No, it's a big old perch. Pulling like a doggone bass. They're hitting the lighter colored jigs though, folks. Ow. They ain't hitting that dark blue. I think I might need to change that blue to something else. On that G. All right, folks. Pull back up on the brush. Caught a couple perch, but that was it. Move back up on the brush. See if we catch another crappie. Folks, we got another. Finally got another crappie bite. Nice one too. Oh yeah, good one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that old slab boost. Huh? An old slab boost. You got to love an old slab boost. He was just sitting there and he hit it. So there's a couple out there anyhow. I was fixing to say we weren't going to get a bite, but we did. We did. We're going to put it back down so we get another bite. Right there looks like so. Right there on the bottom. There he is. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. Got him. Got him. There's some out there. Look at that. That's a white perch. That might have been what I seen. Oh, them, them ones that size right there will fend the devil out of you. Look at that. Hey, that's a long get it. Nice one right there. Huh? Elongated, nice one. You got to love an elongated, nice one. They down there on the bottom. Might be all perch. Hell, he thumped it, boy. 
He crushed it. Another perch, I believe. I ain't sure. It might be a big crappie. It might be a crappie. Nope, another perch. Them perches in here hitting doggone mayflowers, I believe. What they doing? You see him. Got perch roaming around in here. Hey folks, pull out here on the side of the point out here, and uh, we got a perch on. We got a perch on, folks. Maybe we come out here and catch some white perch before it gets too hot. Nice one, too. Two of them. Two, oh Lord, I mean jumbos, buddy. I mean big ones. That is about as big as they get right there, folks. That right there is a super dog. Dog magnum. Look at the size of that perch. That joke of that is a whopper. That is a whopper. The other's a big one too. Hey, we, maybe we done fell in on the mother load out here. I hadn't fished out here this year. Maybe we'll catch them out here. Let's put it back out. That was fun. What? That was fun. Got the love of that. 35 foot of water and them big jumbo hit it. Hey, day. I'm talking jumbo. Hey, we get a nothing. I don't know. Sure got two right there. Folks, we got another one. We moved down to another point and uh, got another jumbo on. I mean jumbo. <clears throat> Maybe we'll find some down here. Seems like you catch a couple and they disappear. They really spooky. But anyhow, hey, we get a nice mess of fish. Ain't like we ain't catching nothing. You got one camera going right now. That's chest camera. Hook another and I turn the other camera on. There he is. Hey, we might be on them now, folks. We might be on them now. Oh Lord. We might be done found the mother load out here. And it's pulling right there, folks. It's pulling. Oh my, it's pulling. Great day. Oh, got him got one in the belly and one in the mouth. That's why it's pulling. No, we had both of them in the mouth, they just twisted around. Hey, got to love that. Look at that nice mess of fish in it. We getting them. We getting them, folks. We might be gonna fill that cool on up now. Right now, I probably need to put some more dog on ice in there right quick. But right now, we got to catch fish. We might be found some now. I don't know. Sometimes you can't see these jokers. They lay right on the bottom and you can't see them. See that? They out there and you can't see them. They're right on the bottom. Oh my, we got two more good ones. Huh? We got two more good ones. Now the whole fish finder's stirring up. So we on the mother load out here. I've caught the devil out of them here before. Out in here and they jumbos. Oh Lord, one got off. Dad, blame it. I couldn't get the other one in the boat and the other one got off, fell in the water. Doggone it, you got to hate that. Huh, you got to hate that. We on the mother load out there if I can get back out. Oh man, come on. Get back out there. Hey, day I hate I lost that one. That was a good one. I couldn't pull the other one up, so heavy. We're in 40 foot of water and there's fish everywhere. You don't see them until it gets down there and then they stir up off the bottom. So they're laying flat, what they're doing. There he is. 
they they coming up to get it. What they doing? Coming up to get it. I don't believe we got but one this time. Nice one though. Look at the size of these. These are jumbos. These are jumbos, folks. These are the jumbo super dogs in here. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if we can get some more of these. This old place I used to tear them up out in here. I think we're still rolling. Hopefully. Uh oh, there he goes. Way up high. Big ones. There's some big ones in here. There's some big ones in here. They're coming up skylighting it now. They're skylighting it. Oh my, I mean skylighting it. Good ones. Look at that. Caught him up under the chin. That's why he's pulling so. He's still nice, but he wasn't no, as big as I thought he was. He's still nice. Caught him under the chin. Huh? Caught him under the chin. Yeah, this ain't the first time I've caught him out here like this in the middle of the day. Not that time though. They probably won't let you catch but a few and they'll quit. That's what they usually do. I don't know, I see them stirring up when I bump that boat. They stirring up out there. There he is. Oh Lord, I missed him. Get back down. Circle this boat, the circle swing it. Got him. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Oh my. Got him. <coughs> Got him. Hey, tell you that joke is pulling. That's nice and that. That's a big old fish. Look at that one a perch. That is a jumbo, son. That's a magnum show enough right down there. Pound and a quarter. Magnum. Magnum. <coughs> Catch him on the two and eight inch swimming metal by Charlie Brewer. What we catch them all? Double rig. <clears throat> we got six pound tests on the main line and 12 pound tests in between the jigs. In case we hook a bass, <clears throat> more than nothing nailed it. They down there, folks. They down there. They all in there. They all in the whole drove of them. Didn't come up and get it that time though. I can't believe it. <coughs> we on the mother load. There he goes. There he goes. Nice ones, too. These are good ones in here. These are the kind you read about in Perch Magazine. Hey, day. That's a good one right there. Ain't but one, but he's a slab boots buddy. I'm talking big fish. I'm talking giant perch. Look at that. You think that ain't a giant perch? I'm telling you. What? Mm -mm -mm. Hitting that dog on light color jig the best. Get out of there. Come on. Get back out, China. 44 foot right now. We putting them where the sun don't shine in that cooler. There he goes. Got him that time. The ones we catching, they're running up and getting it. That's what they're doing. Running up and getting it. 
nice ones though really nice ones <clears throat> throw it back down he is got him got him Coming up. Coming up. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Ow. Come here, boy. Put it back out. Hey, we got a bunch of them down here. We done found them now. We done found the mother load temporarily. I can tell you that. Oh, he thumped it and I missed him. The whole school's running up after. They won't hit it down there where they where, right by them. They think it's got something's got to be getting away from them for it to take it. He is. Got him. Got him. There goes another. There goes another. We ought to put our three rig out. We might catch three at a time. We ought to put that new reel out with that three rig bait caster. I believe we can catch three at a time. Look at that two at a time. They might not hit it, but we're going to try it next time. I'll put these up. I'm going to put these up. Calm down, boy. Calm down, boy. Mm. Let's put the three on. See what happens. Just for the heck of it. Let's see what we can catch with this. Might catch three at a time. There you go. Oh, he hit it. He hit it again. Oh, he got off. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. They doggone it. Hitting it, but they ain't taking it. Throw it back down. I tell you, they hit that two rig better than the three rig. Seems to me like, oh, they take it. Now they ain't bumping this. Might have, they don't want this. Uh, why not? About the same day is it way up high. He's running up at it fast. Maybe I got to reel it up fast. Ain't get but one though. He's a nice one. Look at that. Look at that what a size. I got white heads on these. See, I got lead color heads on the other. That lead color head, I think, by far the best way to go. White ain't, ain't the best way to go. That two of these jigs got white heads on them. I'm not much into white heads. I like black heads better than white heads, but I had some and I just rigged them up with this. A lot of times I'll scrape the paint off of them and use lead colored heads. I'll do that a lot. At times it don't make a difference. At times it does. Let's see if we can get one. See, I ain't, I ain't getting one that time going fast. Slow it down. Oh, I can't tell y'all how hot it is. I can't even breathe. I tell you what, they don't want this three rigs to get as good as they did that two rig. That is a known fact. Too much hardware, I guess. I don't know. Or just a coincidence they ain't biting the second. I don't know. Got braid line on here. Could be it. There you go. There he goes. Let's see if we can catch three. 
see if they'll it, they'll chase him up. I mean, he ain't, ain't got but one so far. He goes, no, nah, still ain't but one. Ain't but one. Ain't but one. And he's a little one. That doggone little one. Doggone it. They ain't, they ain't taking these black, these white heads as good, I'm telling you. I'm fixing to go back to them two rig with them lead heads. Colored heads. <clears throat> we got a mess fishing now, I'll tell you that. Probably got about 15 crappers. I don't know, I'm guessing. I was gonna go back over there and try to limit it out, but now I doubt if I do stay here and mess with the perch a little bit. They're they hitting it. They ain't, they ain't really wanting it. They definitely hitting that two rig better. There's no doubt. There's just no doubt they hitting the two rig better. I'm fixing, I'm fixing, I like the way this reel works. This Erosham uh, by Arunchel is a good reel. I haven't done any casting with it yet. There's one. There goes, well, I was hoping that was a nut. I ain't sure. Don't pull this one in. Ain't got but one. I'm going back to spinning reel. I was catching bigger fish. Something to do with this rig that ain't working right. Hey, yeah. Got him. Got him. See if we can get another to take it. Ooh, there's a bunch of them down there now. I think we got two on. Yep, we got two good ones on. Look at that. Two good ones. Oh my, could two good ones. Two good ones. <clears throat> Put it back down there. There's a bunch of them down in there. Bunch of them. A doggone boat floating down China done got loose from somewhere. Ain't, I checked it earlier, ain't nothing in it. So ain't nobody fell out of it. It just probably was up on the dock and water come up and they didn't have it tied off. Now it's floating around the lake. There he is, got him. I don't know what that is, running funny. Might be a bass. Nope, two perch. Two perch. Look at that. Two perch. Two perches. <coughs> I can't tell y'all how aggravating it is opening this cooler every time. I'm used to my drum, but my drum is too hot for the drum. We gotta put them on ice now. Oh, we got a mother load of them down there now. Oh my goodness. They was up here shallower. We had drifted, we started about here and kept drifting back. Now we're back up here where we started and the fish is still here. 38 foot, bunches of them. They ain't wanting to bite though. They ain't eating it up. You got to put the swing on them and all kind of stuff to get them to bite. Put the angle on them. There you go. See what the angle will do? See if we get another in there to bite it. That's what I like. They get up top, a big one will run up and get the other jig. What I like. We ain't got but one, though. He's a good one. I tell you, they ain't hitting that blue that good. They want light colors. What it looks to me like. Good day. 
Another good day of loving life. And there he goes. Hey, that's a good fish there, too. Might have two. I don't know. They definitely got two now. We done got another done run up there and grabbed it. Oh, my. Another one done run up there and grabbed it. Lord, have mercy. Look at him. Look at that. Two at a time. Lake Monticello loving some life. What? I'm talking slab boost buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I love seeing that, folks. I hope y'all don't get tired of it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's my favorite saying. Hey, we ought to have that on a t-shirt. He is. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. Look at that jug of pool. What? That, that's got to be a super dog magnum if it ain't bass. Got to be two of them. I believe it's two of them. Hey, day. Look at that. Look at that one. Look at that. Look at the way it threw up. Look at that. Shad. Them jokers is eating full and we keep eating. Eating machines is what they are. Ow. He won't eat no more. He gonna feed somebody else. It's like the chain, uh, the, the cycle. <sighs> Little fish get eat by the big fish. The bigger fish get caught, get eat by the man. Yep, that's what it is. That's where it's supposed to be. That's where mother nature intended it. All right. Get back on. Loving life with the old fisherman. I hate this other camera ain't going. Battery's dead in it. I can't keep batteries going. The people that don't know how to work this jig won't catch them. Didn't get it myself that time. Oh, there you go. Come up there high and got it. Come up there high and hit it. Slant fishing at a 45. Look at that. Nice one. Is all we do. It's called slant fishing. Oh, Lord. There ain't no sense in that. Done fell out. Hand. Look in there. We got a cool pool, ain't we? We got a big hunk of ice in that, though. Takes up a lot of money. Damn, what tore this jig slam up. That's the one to hit the best. It's kind of like a little green and cream. Hi. <sighs> Let's go back out. We're in 42 foot now. I'm telling you, I need to be up in the 30s. This, there, there he goes. There he goes. That ain't a big one, up now. I don't think. A lot of times they'll run up at you, and you don't you don't think they're big and they're nice. There's nothing wrong with him. But you see one that hitting, hitting that light, Jay. They do not want that that a blue. Ain't hitting that blue. I'm catching very few on that blue, and I think what I'm catching on them is a fish that's already hit at it and let it go, or or had one on the other one. Let's see if we can catch one on this this uh, purplish look, little G. Let's go a little for a second. Might not get a bite on it. Boy, I'll tell you one thing. Last year, one day, I caught the devil out of bass on that little jig. I can tell you that much. I tore the bass up on that little jig right there. See if they'll hit it. <clears throat> kind of like a scuff of dying color. He one hit it already. He is. Got him. Let's see what he's on. Oh, my. Let's see what he's on. 
What? Oh my goodness. He's a nice one. I bet he's on that jig. No, we got one on both of them. We got two. We got two slabs. One of them's on that jig too, y'all. Look at that. The biggest one's on that jig I just put on, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see it? It's got purple and green in it. Beautiful color. Hey, we're laying it to them, ain't we? Laying it to them. Hey, we might be got the right combination now. I ain't kidding. We done laid it so some fish today again. I ain't lying. Oh my God. It was like this last time I caught them hot and slick. <laughs> and it's doing it again. But we ain't gotten 42 foot of water again now. Seems like they're up in the 30s on top of that rear. Need to turn around and go back the other way. We done pull off the spot. Boy, my legs are getting burned up. I can feel the sun just scorching me. Uh oh, there you go. Right as soon as I said, uh oh, look at yonder going. That joker's got a pull on him, ain't he? Huh? Who <laughs> caught a pull? Great day. That's a good one. That's a pretty fish right there. Look at that, what a perch. And look what I got him on. That darn little jig I put on. That's what they want, folks. A little scuff nine colored jig. That's what they want. What? They're killing it. We got some of that same color in a three inch. We got them all up on us. We done found the mother load. We're gonna lay it to them today, tomorrow, and the next day. Is what we're gonna do. What's so good you can come catch a lemon of crap is almost, and then you mess around and catch a bunch of perch. You got a bunch of fish. Some of the loons I noticed ain't gone back. Some of them still here. Ain't many. But uh, some of them stayed here for the winter, for the summer. That's unusual. There he is. They hitting it up. Them big fish are up. Off the bottom. Oh, Lord, nothing done grabbed it. Hey, look at that rod, folks. Oh, my God. Look at that rod. That's two jumbos right there, I believe. Hey, Jay. Huh. Look at him. Digging. Digging. Get in the boat, boy. Digging. I tell you what. This St. Croix rod, it's called a wall eye version. I'm telling you right now, 6'6". Six, six. It is perfect for these uh, for these perch and this doggone uh, Titan 2 reel that I've got here, the brand new Titan 2 is smooth as a cucumber. Lord have mercy, you cannot beat it. You need to get it. Rancho Reel, look on the uh, description below, the link below my de description of my videos and you will see, you can click on that link, go right to this reel and if you put the promo code that's down there on there, you'll get 15% off, folks. You can't beat it. You need to get you one. And also, that bait caster is good, too, if you need a bait caster reel. And I'll put it down there also with the link on it. You just can't beat it. Oh, Lee, they're killing it. They're killing it. It's perch weather right here, buddy. Perch weather. Oh, he had it now. They, they're bumping it. Circle his boat. If I keep going up, diff, circling around uh, about 15 degrees different each time and bringing it in at a slant puts a different uh, look to it. There he is. Oh, my, there he is. And we take our time. We might get another one. I don't know that. I think so. I think another one just took it. I think. I ain't sure. Might I have it one? I'll tell you in a minute. It might be one big one. Yeah. Ain't but one. He's a good one, though. I'll tell you that much. Look at the size of that. That's jumbo hammers there right there. A jumbo hammer. What? 
that cooler is full, folks. <laughs> we, we got the cooler full crazy day, just like the other day. It's funny, I caught all them fish the other day, and then I, I've been off of them. I ain't caught them uh, since. And then now, a week later, getting back on them again. Amazing. Amazing. There he goes. Got him. See, we get nothing to take it. So far, we ain't got but one. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. I think. I ain't sure. That might have just been him running again. And nice one, whatever it is. Oh, it's two. It's two. <laughs> I thought I had two. What? It's two. It is two. Put it back out with a big girl's lie. We got some nice perch in there today, folks. Look in here real quick. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, damn. It's going to be what? When I go to clean all them fish, I'm going to say, why I do that? Hey, yeah. That's a good fish right there. That's a big one. That's a big one right there. That's a big old bass, I guarantee you. I bet you that's a big old bass. Bet you. Big old bass. What a way to end the day. With a big old bass. That's a big old bass. Or a catfish. One or two. Ooh, Lord. Might be a catfish. No, it ain't. It's a bass. Bass and a perch. Lord have mercy. Bass and a perch, y'all. Bass and a perch. Oh, my. He's pulling out. He's mad. Who's mad? Huh? What? He's mad. Come on back here, boy. Come on back here to the old fisherman. Y'all see him? Oh, Lord. Y'all see him? That's a nice one. The perch is a whopper. The bass is a whopper. They all whoppers. We got them both. Look at him, folks. Look at him. Look at there. Look at there. Look in there. Oh, my. Look in there. Guess what we got that bass on? That little inch and a half jig. That little inch and a half jig. And this perch ain't no baby. Hey, what a way. Huh? What? God, it'd be hard not to throw back down, though. <laughs> I want the end, but Lord have mercy. Look at him. That doggone jig catches them bass that color. I can tell you that. What? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What? Look at that. Ain't that pretty?